Hi, this is Toby from Lift Tech Mobility. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the different ways of getting in and out of your chair in the easiest manner. Obviously, everyone's disabilities and uh, general abilities and getting in and out of chairs can be very different. So if one has okay or good mobility, um, you know, like they struggle with oxygen and they just get out of puff quite easily, then they've probably still got enough mobility to be able to just put their feet either side the foot plate, find the armrest and sit down. However, if someone's got something like MS, um, or no use of their legs at all, there's going to be much, there's going to be different ways of getting in and out. What we can do at this point is we'd probably put the foot plate up. Um, on this particular model, this is a Smart Chair X or the XXL, uh, the foot plate sticks out quite a lot in this particular chair, which makes it a little bit harder to back in, um, to get in this kind of manner. It is still very possible, so you just back, you back up to it using you know, like a walker or a stroller or having some support and then you can find the armrest and sit back in it. You have spread your legs at this point and your foot plate kind of goes back down. And then you can either put your legs over, or if you have not much use of legs, you can kind of lift your legs up onto the foot plate, no problem at all. Something that we do offer quite a lot, especially if people are either taller, or they've got lots of disabilities in regards to getting that foot plate down but need to back onto the chair. Whether we're using the Smart Chair 1, or the Smart Chair XXL. Do you see how the Smart Chair 1's cushion naturally sits a little bit higher than the foot plate, and the foot plate comes back a little bit more flush? So if we bring the camera around from this side, you can see what I'm talking about. The Smart Chair X's foot plate sticks out a little bit more. Um, reason being is when, when you're on bumpier terrain and things like that, but having more of an angular foot plate, it pins you back into the chair more, which then uh, holds you into position more on, um, on your rougher terrain and things like that. Also, having an angular foot plate rather than a flat foot, foot, flat foot plate, it also um, takes a lot of pressure off your lower back and your, your legs and things like that. So, what we can do is a little trick. So, we're now offering our upgraded cushion. So, both of these cushions are two and a half inches thick. This one's a slightly harder foam and smart chair one than the X. Um, but on the upgraded cushion is actually then three, uh, three inches into three and a half at the top of the contour. What that means is it sits you up naturally higher. So now you've got quite a big gap, which means people that struggle to get in and out of the chairs, what they do is they can back onto it now and they can literally flip the foot plate down uh, very, very easily. It's going to sit you up a little bit higher as well. Um, so it means then that getting in and out of the chair is much, much easier. So I'm just going to show you now with that cushion being swapped over on the X. So now, whereas it was before was in line with there, it's now sitting above here. So that means even on the X, which is quite a tricky chair of getting in and out from the front with the foot plate on, it now means it's much, much easier. Alternatively, the other ways of getting in and out of the chair are from the side. So some people don't realize that armrests go up very, very easily on these style of chairs. And that what that means is we can come in directly from the side. And this is also good if people are, um, are amputees and things like that. It means you can get right up close and you can literally just um, kind of do a side transfer. So we're coming from the side, we can hold on to either the backrest, top of the armrest, we can sit down, find the other armrest, and we can swing our legs across. And the armrest comes down afterwards. So we get out this way, we just do exactly the same. And we can push from here or here or even up here, a nice high point of leverage. That way we means we don't have to faff around with the foot plate. Um, what a lot of people would tend to do, I mean, we can also come in from the side here, which is a huge amount of chair to hit, find our armrest, lower ourselves in, and then it's just a quarter turn and the armrest comes down. The good thing about this one, though, if you come out from the side, high point of leverage here, you can push from here still, and you don't have to mess around with the foot plate, and you can walk away clean from the chair without moving the foot plate. Um, what a lot of people do, um, as well, is can come in from the front, with the foot plate up, find the armrest, sit down, but then their chosen method is to come out from the side. So just a few different options and getting in and out of your chairs, because um, there are lots of options in, in life. The one thing, especially when you've got disabilities, is we want as many options as possible. Um, remember, two and a half inches thick, three and a half inches thick. The higher the cushion you have on the chair, the more it's gonna stretch your legs out. So if you're tall, you always wanna go for an upgraded cushion. And if you struggle getting in and out of the chair, go for an upgraded cushion because it's going to sit you higher and it's going to make your life much, much easier. So um, thanks very much and I'll see you in the next video.